So Anthony and I, are, we're here at Clingman's Dome in the Great Smoky Mountains. It took some doing to get up here. Not too much. A lot of people stop along the way, but uh, from the place that we parked, it's only a half mile up. So you get to see uh, little breaks in between the trees. Like right now, you can't see much beyond the tree line. But uh, this observation platform that we're heading up, this is going to give us a much grander view. And uh, that view is from the highest point in the Great Smoky Mountains and in Tennessee. Is that accurate? Also the the most, the highest the highest point in the Great Smoky Mountains? And the Appalachian Trail. And the Appalachian Trail. Whew. Yeah. Fucking three for uh, three on that one. But yeah. Starting to, starting to see that expansive view. Wish I had my GoPro for the image stabilization, but uh, my dumbass left it. As soon as I opened the door to the car, there was trash. Kind of like that. And that uh, spurned my ire and uh, detracted my attention. What'd you say again? 60 or 6,000? 700 ish. Yeah. 6,700 ish. Oh, you're good, man. I just heard second highest in North Carolina. That information is probably better than mine. So what I'm doing is I'm continuing my tradition of uh, smoking. I don't have a cigar, but I've got a lucky strike of smoking at the highest point inside of a state. Now I can officially say, even though this is Double Spring Gap Shelter, is what this is referred to. This, I guess, was a spring, or it flows at some point in the year, probably during the fall, most likely. But uh, we were at Klingman's Dome, and we went up to the trail tower, or the tower trail, whatever. But, uh, yeah, I can officially say now that, yes, I have been on the Appalachian Trail. Hence that trail marker there white paint you'll see those on the trees all the way down but uh yeah i've never actually ventured on the official appalachian trail i've only been on little parts uh adjacent to it so here we are so we made a segue off the appalachian trail in this partial clearing where these uh more dead trees are a lot of uh snapping and breaking you can see uh this one over here, it had snapped off at some point, but uh, that's probably just, you know, from again being dried out and then the wind's blowing through, but uh, an awesome view, nearly unabated by, uh, I wouldn't use the word canopy, but the forest. And while we are on the west side, over to this point, south, along the uh, trailhead, that is where we are parked. I wanted to chart this because it's a very distinct line of what I believe is feldspar. But I'll have to look deeper into that. The way it runs up this rock. This is enough to pique my curiosity. This is the Onconofluti Visitor Center here at the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Or at least on the route that we went to. Uh, we're going to try and see if we need a parking permit in case we park. Down from the visitor center is this farm, a picket fence of uh, unknown, unknown age. I don't think it's original. Kind of like the ones you see that are uh, put back on in Gettysburg. This fence didn't stand up to it. No, it failed. I, I bet this fence probably isn't more than 50 years old. Yeah, it's, it's beat though. Yeah. 
and we we're wondering whose farm this is I'll obviously look at the information panel to uh, really diagnose it but uh, Maggie's Valley's over there and I just assumed it was Maggie's farm I always feel the compulsion when next to a body of water to touch it. Yeah, what's up? Chicken butt. Anthony's uh, keen eye and powers of observation of identified this well-rooted tree and it's crazy growth yeah that lends itself quite well to the ecosystem big old bulbous base and well-anchored roots wonder how old this thing is Seriously, trees being the oldest living thing in the world, or things in the world, what do you reckon? 150? 200 years old? Probably. Maybe more. We had to stop at this overlook. Now that the sun's peaking, the amazing view of the valley. A little bit of overgrowth, not as good as the other overlook, but there were a bunch of uh, old fogs. So, Koala Indian Reservation. Dare I read it or do you read it yourself? I'll read it. The Cherokee Domain once extended far beyond the distance, distant mountains, but the white man scratched out, also W scratched out, with broken treaties and fruitless promises, brought trouble to the Indians and caused their banishment to an Oklahoma reservation. A few escaped capture and fled into the Great Smokies, eventually forming the Eastern Band that now lives on the Koala Reservation in the valley below. I had to stop down here and take a look at some of these classic cars on the side of the road for sale. The Studebakers, the old man would like that. About 20K? No, I don't think so. What do I want for this Ford? Seventy-seven, depending on how it's running. I might do six K. But this Plymouth, thirty-eight Plymouth, the old man will get a kick out of that. Total restoration complete, twenty thousand five hundred. I'll talk to the old man, see what he wants to do. Yeah, that'd be something.